How you doing guys? Zane's Heavy Boxing those are here back with another video. And in this video I like to give you my prediction for next weekend's upcoming fight. It's going down Saturday night. You know, it's the return of Miguel Pachel in the super featherweight division. You know, so let's get into it. It's Miguel Pachel versus Eleanor Valenzuela. Valenzuela. Sorry if I haven't pronounced the name right, but Let's get into it. So Miguel Bachel, the record 37 and 1 with 33 KOs. You know, looking through his resume, he's got some notable wins against some former world champions and decent opposition, you know, uh, that are close to the elite level. You know, his last fight, he fought Jason Sosa and he won that fight by knockout. You know, I must say it was a, it was a great performance by Miguel Bachel, you know, um, very good power punches thrown in that fight. Very good combinations to the head and to the body. Left and right hooks, you know, overhand rights. You can't really see where they're coming from, you know. Uh, Miguel Bachel is a really, really good uh, fighter which has a lot of power. You know, he can definitely come forward and uh, give a fan-friendly fight. You know, um, his last four victories have come by way of knockout. You know, so that says... That he's a fighter that comes forward, you know. Um, I don't see much boxing in him, you know. He's a typical come forward sort of Mexican style sort of fighter, you know. He likes to go in there and hurt his opponents. He's not really looking to box, but he's looking to hurt you, you know. Um, he's looking really good, I must say. You know, he's also got wins over Francisco Vargas. You know, um, he's faced him twice, you know, in two entertaining fights. You know, what makes Miguel Burchelt so dangerous is his power. You know, um, it's very hard for you to, you know, um, keep boxing when that power and that pressure is upon you. You know, and his body punches are what drains a lot of fighters, you know. It makes them zap their energy, you know, into fighting the same fight he wants, which is a slug. It's a trade-off, you know, and this works in his favour, you know. In his last couple of fights, you know, they haven't gone the distance and he's been managing to get the knockout, you know. Um, also, got to give, give a lot of credit to his strength and conditioning coach because, you know, he keeps up a high work rate for every single round, you know, and he's throwing a lot of punches, a lot of power punches included with the jabs, you know. Um, so, Miguel Bichelt looking great here, you know. Um, he's only lost in 2014 you know from then from then on he's come up with 16 victories uh, from that loss you know so um, Miguel Bichot a very strong fighter um, I must say he's very uh, one dimensional though you know um, he likes to come forward and uh, a typical boxer who has a good fundamentally sound sort of technique will definitely be able to you know maybe you know nullify his power so to speak, but his opponent next weekend, Elena Venezuela, Venezuela, um, I'm not pronouncing it right, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, um, he, he's a sort of fighter that comes forward as well, you know, this fight is going to be a very action-packed fight, you know, um, styles make fights, you know, and that's no, that's no disregard on Elena Venezuela, um, he's a very good fighter, decent fighter I mustn't say you know he's been in there with the likes of um, uh, John O'Carroll you know um, a few decent opponents on his resume that stand out you know but he's always lost to them at the world level he's got 13 losses on his record you know which says it all you know Miguel Bechal is definitely a couple levels above him you know, and, you know, in my final prediction, guys, I feel that Elena Venezuela has the sort of come forward aggressive style that suits uh, Miguel Bachelt. You know, Bachelt wouldn't have to go looking for him because Elena Venezuela, his defense is pretty, pretty bad. You know, he keeps his hands down, which is not a good thing. I think if you're going to keep your hands down, you're going to give Miguel Bachelt opportunities to tag you. You know, especially with them combinations he throws, you know, one of them shots are bound to get through, you know, and his punch resistance is quite suspect, I must say. His last fight, he got knocked out in the second round, 
you know um it's quite small for the weight at super featherweight maybe maybe a sort of fighter that maybe does well at the lower weights you know at featherweight you know but naturally i just feel that miguel bachelt will be you know physically stronger than him you know i just feel that uh, venezuela's punches won't be you know affecting miguel bachelt that much you know his stamina and conditioning isn't great as well uh, Eleanor Venezuela's uh, stamina and conditioning you know um, I just feel that he doesn't train hard enough in my opinion you know um, and my final prediction I'd say I've got Miguel Bichot winning this fight by knockout guys as I mentioned styles make fights you know and this is two sluggers coming forward you know and one of them is definitely going to go to sleep you know I'd be surprised if it, this fight goes the distance you know very surprised um, so I'm very confident in my pick I feel that Miguel Bichel will be the one doing the knocking out this Saturday night you know uh, don't count out um, Eleanor Venezuela because he does stand a puncher's chance you know um, you never know what could have happened in boxing sometimes you know um, Venezuela's coming there as a huge underdog I believe um, but I just feel that Miguel Bichel will be a step too quick for uh, Elena Venezuela. So my final prediction, guys, I've got uh, I've got um, Miguel Bachel by knockout, guys. You know, and I just feel that he'll knock him out. You know, within six rounds. That's an extra tip, guys. You know, let me know your thoughts. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Zane's every box and doses. Until the next video, I'm out.